Division number stories with remainders. Create a mathematical model for each problem. Solve the problem and show your work. Explain what you did with the remainder. So you can use any method you choose for division, whatever one makes the most sense. But try using the long division that we've been teaching you. So it says pizza costs $14 each. So I'm going to underline that. $14 each. How many pizzas can you buy with $60? So I have 60. So my total, the number I'm dividing is 60. By the $14 per pizza. So I'm going to list my multiples of 14. So 14, 28, uh, 42, 56, and then 70. So my biggest number without going over is 56. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4. And I put it in my 1 spot because I can't go in the 6. So 14 times 4 is 56. And then I have $4 left over. So my quotient, or my answer is 4, and my remainder is 4. So how I can buy 4 pizzas. What are we going to do with it? We're just going to ignore it because we can't buy another whole pizza. Maybe you'll use it as the tip for the delivery person, but you cannot use it on pizza. Number 2 says, your classroom received 150 books. You are placing them in bins. Each bin holds 20 books. How many bins do you need? So your total is 150, and you're dividing it into 20 books per bin. So I will give you that. You need to solve, giving me the quotient and the remainder, and how many bins you need, and whether you rounded the quotient up or ignored it, and why. Let me pull up your practice at the bottom. Which it says, divide using partial quotients, then an estimate to check whether your answer makes sense. Show your work on the back of this page. I know you guys can do it. 